Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new vlog. Okay, so I'm back in LA and today we are choosing the paints for the beadboard that I installed in my bedroom. The bedroom makeover is currently in progress. I leave to Europe in two weeks. I'm gonna be gone for a couple months, so I have so much to do to wrap up the house. And one of those things is the bedroom. We are painting, we're doing the bathroom as well, and finishing the curtains in the living room, but I need your help. We need to pick a paint for the beadboard. I have four options that I got. I'm gonna show you right now, and then I'm gonna go paint little swatches and samples, and we're gonna put them on the walls, and I'm gonna need your help because I'm stuck. I got two cool tones and two warm tones, so let's go take a look. All right, not sponsored, but I got these really cool swatches. So essentially they're pieces of paper with adhesive on the back, and you paint the pieces of paper, and you can put them on the wall so you don't like screw up the walls. We got four samples here. We have aged whiskey. So this is like a warm tone and then I got another warm tone burnt butter These are the darker ones and then I got two lighter ones here. This one is desert gray And this one is maple brown sugar so far. I'm leaning on maple brown sugar and This one burnt butter, but I'm gonna do two and two guys. I think I f***ed up I think the swatches are way hideous and way too dark. First off, hi. The wallpaper was installed while I was in Montana. If you guys missed it, I did settle on the green. And then this is the beadboard that I installed. I also installed this beautiful chair rail molding here, but this white is too white. So I wanna go something a bit warmer. And I thought that these were gonna be the samples, but look how awful. This looks like actual baby doo-doo or butterscotch. And then these are just, so it's too much, it's too dark. If I were to go in any direction, it would be that direction, but I think we need to go much lighter. So I, I don't know, do you guys like any of these four? Let me know. This will be one, two, three, four, but I'm gonna go back to the paint store and get a few lighter shades, because these, it's just too much. I feel like these browns actually do not go at all. I think I need to go much lighter, like an oat milk almost. These are those other swatches that I had for the bathroom because we could do a green on the beadboard. This is what I went with in the bathroom. I do have this paint that I was gonna do in the bedroom, but I think it's just way too dark. Very pretty palette, but I think we need some lighter options. It's later that night. I got the paint samples, they're on the wall. I actually ended up, I, was, I totally forgot I was supposed to go to an event and I saw one of my friend's stories, so I quickly messaged the brand and was like, oh my God, you guys, I'm so sorry, I completely forgot, I just got back from Montana. And they said, we'd still love to have you come down, it's going on for another three hours. And this is with a skincare slash makeup brand that I love, and I'd love to work with one day, so I wanted to go and meet the CEO and meet the team. So I get ready really quickly, and I had like the worst, do you guys ever have like, almost like outfit anxiety. I Everything I put on, also when I was in Montana, I gained like five pounds because I was eating like, not unhealthy, but it's just like, it's not my normal regimen. And I kind of, I don't yo-yo, but like five pounds is pretty normal for me to like, really normal for anybody to kind of fluctuate. So I was just like, oh my God, nothing's fitting properly. I think these jeans feel tight or this shirt doesn't look good on me. And I finally like settled. I wore something really this and like a green over shirt with some cute jeans, shoes and my glasses. And I looked dapper and great. I drive by, it's at a outdoor, it's like at a art gallery. And then they were having like the product, the new product displays at the gallery. It was really chic. It was on Melrose in West Hollywood. I drove by, there were like 200 people in the parking lot. As you can see, it was crazy. So I did not go. I ended up just taking myself out to dinner and now I'm back home. It was fabulous. Had a great little Italian meal, some pasta limon. It was quite lovely. But let's look at the samples. Let's look at the new samples. Here we are. This literally looks like white. It's called White Crane. That's not it but these are the other samples. So you can see now collectively, obviously we're not going with green anymore, but this is the world that I wanted to be in. And I'm really leaning towards these three. So I'm gonna need you guys to vote in the comments down below. One, two, or three. Three being the darkest. I think three is too dark. The thing is like the middle one is a little more yellow and this one is a bit more neutral, but it still has a good pop. What do you guys think? These are just too much. These are not flattering on the wall. We'll check what it looks like in the daytime, but I think this is the world. 
and honestly, no shade to the brand at all, but it was the PR company that invited me and they probably just like sent out like a mass invite and I definitely thought it was something more personal, like a little, not a one-on-one, -on -one, but like a smaller chic event. And it was not, all the girlies were out and it was very like sceney and I don't like that. It makes me feel uncomfortable. Like I like to connect and like actually talk and get to meet people and have like a real conversation. Who knows, maybe I'll have the opportunity in the future with the brand and be able to work with them in the future, but that event was not for me. But just not familiar vibes. I'm gonna clean my skin and I'm gonna take a shower and I'll see you guys in the morning. Monty wanted to say goodnight to everybody. Monty, you're going to the vet tomorrow. You have an appointment. She's having ear infections again in this year. It's really red. This year is fine and clean, gorgeous. I clean it every night. And this one has like an overproduction of earwax. You literally have food on your snout. Meanwhile, even though my whole room is boxed up, he can find his way under the bed. Oh wait, this might be under the bed. Guys, it's the next day. I'm heading to a podcast. My friend in my head, Rico Taquito, AKA Eric over on Tech. No, he's Rico Taquito. On TikTok, his name is Eric. He has a podcast called Gay and Afraid. I'm a big fan of it. He's just such an idiot. I love him. He's so funny. And I honestly started listening and like watching his TikToks like around COVID. And now he has his own podcast, which is so exciting. So randomly, I got an email from my agent and they booked me on the podcast, which is so fun. I got him a few things because you know I always show up somewhere with a little something, a little housewarming gifts. So let me show you what I got. So first off, for the team, I got these gorgeous donuts. This is uh, Tony Hawk's company. It's called Holy Grail and they're made fresh in like 100 seconds each. So gorgeous. So that's gonna be for the team here. Something to snack on. And then in here, I got him a tote bag that says Beachwood Cafe. <laughs> the viral Selena Gomez blanket from Amazon. I got him a little card right here. I got him some coffee from the Beachwood Cafe. And then I got him one of the Drag Race lipsticks. That says Eric, and then I love bandanas, so I got him two of these bandanas, but his are personalized with chain stitching, and they say Eric, and then another one says Gay and Afraid. Mine says Daniel somewhere on here, but yeah, I'm excited, so let's go say hi. I'm home now. Uh, the podcast went great. I didn't vlog when I was there because we, I think we had like an hour and we talked for an hour and a half, and Eric and I hit it off so well. I love a Virgo. My best friend, you guys know Alex with the red hair, um, is a Virgo and we just get on so well. I feel like we're very complimentary and I don't know, he's been like a friend in my head for so long and we just vibed. It was really nice. He's such a sweetheart. It was really cool to meet somebody that you like actually enjoy and they're just like really sweet in person because I don't have a ton of friends. I like, I know a lot of people, but I don't have a ton of friends in the like, in the industry or like YouTube, TikTok, whatever, but he's cool. So definitely check him out. I'll link him down below. Also, we might hang out this week, which is cool. I feel like I made an, an, a friend. It's nice to just like hit it off with somebody and it feel very organic and feel cool. He's a really nice guy. I don't have any makeup on. I just washed my face. So I'm dealing with a little redness here and here. But if you guys want like a little tutorial of the products that I'm using, I'm gonna do that later on in the video because I am filming a video for the bedroom later. Right now, what am I doing? Oh, let me show you. Eric has a bunch of candles. They're so great. I ordered them last week and I love them. But these are the candles. The company is called Groove and he designed everything. <laughs> I swear. He designed everything, like the packaging. I think he did this with his brother, if I remember correctly. There's six currently. I have four right here and they're really all so lovely. The packaging is beautiful. The candles are super high quality. And what I really like is that they give back to the community. So for every candle purchased, I believe that it also purchases a bunch of meals, like 10 or 15 meals for a shelter in Texas, which is so cool. So definitely, I will link this down below. Definitely check them out. They're beautiful. He, I mean, he's crazy talented. They're so great. And they all smell so beautiful. But yeah, I have a lot to do today. I'm finishing the painting in my bedroom. I decided on the color. I went in a different direction that I thought I was gonna go in, but it's looking really, really good. And then honestly, I'm starting to pack up my house, not pack up my house, but like, pack and put together my outfits for Europe. I'm going to Greece to shoot a skincare campaign. I'm gonna be there for a week. And then I go to Rome. I'm on hold for a project that shoots out there for a month and a half, but TBD, cause there is a writer's strike going on, but I'm booked. I'm booked and busy until end of November. So I'm gonna be leaving LA in a week, which is crazy. 
and I won't be back until the holidays, but it's good. I'm excited to be back and I'm working on another project, which I've mentioned kind of in the past, but I'll be doing a lot of writing. I rented a beautiful space in Tuscany that I'm gonna be spending some time at and be working out of there. I'm really excited to be back in Italy and see my friends there and some family and maybe do a little travel to Paris and to Germany. I really wanna go back to London to see my college friends there. It's been a good day today. It's gonna to be a crazy next week and a half though, let me tell you that. Also, this is what I use to take off my makeup. This is by LMS, it's the Pro Collagen Green Fig Cleansing Balm. This is a new one and it smells so juicy and so nice. Their original one is great too, but if you guys see this around and you need a cleansing balm, definitely grab it. It's very, very good. They sent this to me, thank you guys, but it's not sponsored or anything. I just really genuinely love this product. It's a little later and I'm heading to the Grove right now. The Grove is, if you guys haven't been and visited LA, the Grove is like an outdoor shopping mall, but it has everything. There's like also a little park in there. There's a Nike, there's an Apple store. There's a Sephora, Charlotte Tilbury. There's so many stores, it's great. There's also a little farmer's market, it's adorable. There's like grass where you can sit and have lunch, but outdoor shopping areas like that that are like kind of higher end or a big thing in LA because indoor malls like aren't really a thing. But we're going, I actually, also, I actually used to work there when I worked at the Apple store and I worked at J. Crew simultaneously when I first moved to LA. This is where I worked and I don't really go back there because it's like a big like teen hangout spot and if I do get noticed and recognized in public, it's there. I used to go there all the time like years ago and it'll always be kind of crazy. I haven't been back for a while. However, the reason why we're going is because Banana Republic invited me to go check out their new collection. I used to kind of wear them all the time for like preppy events. There was an outlet by my house, but as I got older, the clothes are really boxy and just like not flattering and not stylish. They're kind of like interview clothes in a way, like good like blazers, pants, belts, shoes for like teens, not teens, eh. Like young men, I, I remember wearing it for my first interview. So it has like a little special place in my heart, but they've completely kind of redesigned the brand. They've went back to like their basics, but kind of tailored everything. So I'm excited to check it out. They had some beautiful pieces online that I am really excited to see. So let's go shopping. That was so fun. I picked out some really great pieces I'll show you guys after right now. I'm eating lunch in my car because I'm waiting on a, a girl from Facebook Marketplace because I'm going to pick up these two side tables, uh, nightstands for the bedroom makeover. I'm eating some asparagus fries. I've never had them before. We got this wrap situation, a little chicken wrap with avocado. When they said asparagus fries, I, I, I don't know, I thought something else, but they're literally asparaguses. Let's give it a taste test. They're healthy. <laughs> they're not fries. Give me the fries. It's good though. Life is too short, get the fries, baby. Get the fries. So here's the haul. I got some really cute pants. I love these pleats, like a navy. They almost look like denim, but they're not. They're beautiful, and they have this built-in belt. They're high-waisted, they're gorgeous. I got those, and then I got them in cream as well. Got a pair of jeans, just a pair of straight leg jeans. I got a couple linen shirts. These are really great for layering, especially when it's like you're transitioning from August September to the fall with like a t-shirt and then overcoat. They're really beautiful. Their linen's really nice. I got brown, a green, and this denim color. I got kind of like a work chore shirt in this green color. I'm a size large. I'm 6'3". I'll probably get these a little tailored and then this houndstooth one, which is really nice. I got two t-shirts. Their t-shirts fit really well. I really like them. Just this green and a white. And then for shoes, I never wear loafers. Like I have one pair, but these are really, I like the distressing on them. They look just aged. I thought these would be really nice, especially when I travel. And they're so light. A lot of loafers, especially Doc Martens, are so heavy. These are really, really light. Speaking of Doc Martens, these are going to be my Doc Martin replacements because my Docs are so uncomfortable. These have a more military style. I love them. They're a bit taller. They have the two-tone with like the pebble leather and the smooth, and they're very, very light. Hi, Monty. Hi, little girl. I also picked up this leather jacket, which is so gorgeous. I'm gonna have this piece forever. I've never had like a standard black leather jacket, and I really like it. It has the two pockets here. It's kind of like a motorcycle style, but it's very like, it's very flattering. So I got that one, and then I got it in the green suede as well. And the brand saw that I loved this bag so much and they gave this to me, which was so kind of them. It's just like a side bag, kind of like safari style. On the inside it has this lining, there's like a ship, looks like an adventure moment. 
But yeah, I thought this would be beautiful in Europe with these jackets and the clothes. Okay, worst light ever, but I'm going out to dinner. This is the fit. Jeans are from Madewell. Shirt is from Madewell. This blazer is from Top Man forever ago. Well, emerald earring is from Amazon. Black belt is from Madewell. Shoes are Doc Martens little Mary Jane buckle loafers. Socks are from American Trench, so cute. And the bag is a little vintage Dooney and Burke that I thrifted for like 30 bucks. I'm running late, but let's go to dinner. We're going to catch Los Angeles for the first time. I've never been. We're going with the boys. So I'll see you guys at dinner. Let's go to dinner with the boys and let's see who's gonna be late. I decided on catch because everybody's been except me. Of course I'm early. The LA standard, Manny was only 10 minutes late. Z gets a pass because he was walking his dog and Gabriel didn't show up, but he texted us an hour later. The kitchen was an hour late. They sent these out. My Branzino then came, it was so good. Both the boys got steak and it was so good. Catch is known for their popcorn shrimp and it was bomb. And the Wagyu fried rice, oh my God. It was a little salty. And an hour and a half later, the broccolini came. <laughs> We went to the Grove to see Bottoms. It was so good. Ew, they were out of Diet Coke. All right, bye. I'm home. As you can see, dinner was fabulous. After dinner, we went to go see <laughs> Bottoms. Fabulous. It was so good. It reminded me of like those old like 2000s high school movies. I really, really loved it. Definitely go see it. It was probably one of my favorite movies I've seen this year. 10 out of 10. Okay, so it's the next morning. Um, I am getting ready for the day. So I thought I would show you kind of like my updated skincare routine-ish slash makeup. I do like a very natural, glowy, heavy on the blush kind of makeup. So if that interests you. So yeah, you guys are always asking in the comments and by all of you, I mean two of you. I thought I would just do it with you guys. So I go in with my vitamin C Firma from Drunk Elephant and then I add a little bouncy bright facial with the moisturizer and I just make my own little smoothie right here. I love this because you actually use a lot less product and I'll just Put on like that, all over. And this really brightens, it keeps me moisturized and is just like a really great base for any makeup that goes on my face. Now I'm trying this product. This is by Naturium. This is called Vitamin Bright. So it comes in two shades. They sent me both of them. This is the lighter shade and then there's a deeper one. I'm gonna go in and see what she does. Do you ever feel like eye creams are kind of like a lie? I never really see any results from an eye cream. Actually, that's not true. There's one by Sunday Rally that I really like, Autocorrect, I really like that one. And then there is one by Drunk Elephant that I like, but we'll see. I really like Naturium and their products. I think they're available at Target. After that, I kind of let that settle and my skin is super, super dry. So I will go in with a little more moisturizer once this is in my face, but right now I'm gonna ice roll. So I have two ice rollers. One, I really, really love. I mean, I love both of them. This one is like, 12 or 15 dollars on amazon i showed you guys this before but it's a little bulky and i have some upcoming travel so i got this one on amazon it's quite expensive it's actually like 70 dollars but it's by stacked skincare it's so heavy though so i feel like it can really give you some lymphatic drainage it comes with this little silicone cover so it stays clean and it's stainless steel so there are no germs on this you just pop it in the freezer and i'll go in my under eye to depuff Kind of pull out like this. Then I'll go up around the cheekbone. It does the same thing as a gua sha, but it's just cold and it feels really good on the face. If you've had a crazy night out the night before, I'm sure it would be lovely. And then I'll just kind of like pull everything down. Go into the neck, carve the neck out. Now I'll go in with a little more moisturizer. And this time with the moisturizer, I'm gonna go in with the D Bronzy Drops, these are from Drunk Elephant. I've been using these since the packaging was like the little pump bottle. They changed to this bottle because I guess it's less plastic. I'll take my little thing. I'll do one of that. And I actually went to Sephora and I got a bunch of goodies. Drunk Elephant just came out with a new product called B Goldie Bright Drops. So whereas D Bronzy is for bronzing, B Goldie is more for illuminating. So it's very luminous, very dewy, and it's actually really great for the skin barrier. It has 5% niacinamide and mulberry leaf extract to fade hyperpigmentation, dark spots, and post breakout marks to improve the skin's clarity and radiance, which I have hyperpigmentation here. I have rosacea, I have scars from psoriasis. So over time, this is really great for the skin because it's infused with that niacinamide. So I'm gonna take a pump of this as well and pop it in here. I'll keep you guys updated how I'm liking this product. That's pretty. So this will give you like an all over 
the flush of color. And honestly, this would be my day today if I'm not like filming, but today I am filming a project. So it's very illuminating. Wow, that's really gorgeous. We're done with skincare for now, so let's get into foundation. I don't do a ton of foundation. However, this guy, House Labs Triclone, what's the name? Triclone Skin Tech Foundation, it's fabulous. I just take one full pump and then I'll just mix this in here. And you know what, I picked up the new House Labs foundation brush. They were sold out of the concealer brush. I also picked up the concealer. So let's go ahead and try this brush. I never use brushes, I always use a beauty blender just cause it's easier, but I'm gonna try it, just the little product on here. Let's see. I can't really tell because the monitor is so small, but honestly, I just go in with the product in a triangle like this, and then I kind of disperse it out. I want it to look really, really natural. I don't need foundation all over my face, and this is super sheer. It's buildable, but it's sheer. So I'm just going in my problem areas, and then I'm dispersing and diffusing. I don't really go into my beard line that much. I go into right here and that's it. Cover up any red marks and then I'll also do my ears a little bit. But see this, it gives just like a very clean, beautiful coverage. It looks very natural and sun-kissed and that's what I'm going for. For my powder, I love this Hourglass dual-ended brush. I use this for any powder and this for anything illuminating. I am going in with a little bit of the Hourglass Veil setting powder just to set everything. See, I don't normally need to do this, but today I'm gonna be on a set, so I'm gonna need to have a little extra safety net, especially around my nose and my T-zone. So that's where my dry skin is. And then for bronzer, I'm going in with this Laura Mercier. This is just bronze too. It's really pretty. It has a tiny, tiny bit of shimmer. You can also go in with the Hula one. Sometimes I go with that, but I just realized that I had this. So I'm gonna go in on my forehead, just a tiny bit where the sun would normally hit my face. And then I'm gonna carve this out just a little bit, super lightly, just to give a little extra sun kiss. And then I do a little bit on the bridge of the nose because I am gonna go in with a blush after, but I want it to look like very terracotta. So I go in a little bit here. It almost gives you like a faux contour. And this is the Laura Lee Los Angeles L31 brush. If you guys want a discount, you can use code Danny and get 15% off. I'm an affiliate over there. She has a brand new collection and these brushes are fabulous. I've actually purchased two myself, two sets myself. Also, this case is so good. It's from Amazon. It has a little magnetic clasp. So it just locks. So these are the three that come with me when I travel. And then for the blush, I'm going in with the Laura Lee Blush Aesthetic Palette. This is so stunning. Unfortunately, it's out of stock, but it's my favorite. It has such beautiful tones here. I go in with this kind of like orangey. I go in with a dab of that, a little bit with this light and a little bit with this dark. Kind of play around with that. And then I just go in a little bit, like I said, on the bridge of the nose. And then just a tiny bit here. See how I have this redness? That's like my natural rosacea. So. That's where I go and I'll like drag it up just a little bit. I'll do a little bit right here and then I'll just hit right here as well. Last step, Charlotte Tilbury Airless Flawless Finish in shade two medium. This honestly, right on the under eye, just super brightening and it kind of locks the blush and the bronzer in. I do it all over super lightly. It's also a good way just to like if you screwed anything up or added too much blush, just like diffuse that. That's it, and we're just gonna lock it all in with the Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray by Charlotte Tilbury. Gorgeous. Quickly do a little brow. I just brush them out. And then I love these three products. This pencil in particular by Dominique Cosmetics. It's so good. It's the shade Cool Deep Brown. I really love it because look at this edge. It's always super sharp and just gives you really nice hair-like strokes, but it's really innovative because you just pop this out. There's a sharpener right here and there's a brush. So for this, I'll just do a couple strokes in the front because that's usually what gets blown out on camera sometimes, just like that. And then I use a little bit of this Thicket by NYX. I found this on Amazon and it's really cool because it has, let me try to show you guys, it has actual like fibers. See that? That adhere to your brows and it just makes everything look a lot thicker. So I'll just go in with that. See that? 
Done with makeup, I'll just give my lashes a tiny curl because I feel like it really makes a difference. This is the Kevin Aquan one and just a little clear great lash by Maybelline New York. I'll just hold them in place, it'll keep them up all day long. You can go in obviously with like normal mascara, but for me, it would be too much. I wanted to take a moment now and speak about the Colleen Ballinger grooming allegations, which are not even allegations anymore. All the facts are out there and it, everything that happened is out there and it's horrifying and that behavior is absolutely, absolutely just horrific and scary. And I'm so sorry to anybody who is a victim of that behavior, it's awful. And I hope that you are able to heal from this and grow and hopefully move on and have the closure, even though there hasn't been a proper apology. It's awful, it's awful all around. And it's something that I've been asked to chime in on for a long time. And as somebody who is very vocal and is very, you know, I'm not afraid to speak about things, whether it's Logan Paul or Gabby Hanna situation, it's just something that has been a little triggering to me as a victim of SA when I was a teenager. It's just, it's tough. Um, I went through a lot of years of therapy and over the past couple of months of this whole thing unfurling, it's made me realize that there are people out there who dealt with some of the same things that I did and I know how long it followed me in life and how it can randomly trigger me and remind me of things. And as somebody who has a following on the internet with some young impressionable viewers, like I just wanna let you know that this behavior is unacceptable in any capacity, especially somebody at her age. Children are supposed to be protected and nurtured and it's really painful to see so many people hurt by this. It's still even hard for me to talk about now because it's just like, it's awful. It's awful. I can only speak on my own behavior now. It makes me a hypocrite for not speaking out about it. Colleen was somebody who was in my life for a long time and I didn't enter the space as a creator or a YouTuber. I entered the space as a boyfriend, as a duo, as a producer, as a writer. And I didn't you know, start YouTube until like four years ago. So I was able to meet a lot of fellow creators in a more organic setting and you know, we were able to have like some sort of friendship. There was no like on and off switch happening. There was no, oh, let's be friends just because you're collabing with me. So I was able to see like different sides of people and I was always treated with a lot of kindness and respect from her, especially when we were on set of Escape the Night. But I also wasn't hanging out with her privately. Um, I know in my Gabby Hanna video, I mentioned that we were best friends. We were good friends in a professional setting and I should have verbalized that. But at the time, everything was so fresh. Three years ago when I made that video, the verbiage just was incorrect. I think we hung out only a couple times. And then she had me over in a video to react to her pregnancy and I was in and out of there in 30 minutes. That was three years ago, I think three and a half years ago. And that was the last time we really spoke because COVID and everything going on. And I moved for a bit and, you know, I was going through my breakup and it was just, you know, a perfect storm of let me assess who's in my life and let me assess who I want to have in my life. And my circle got really small. So were we close friends? No, we weren't. We were professional friends, but that is besides the point. I've never been somebody who's scared to speak up and I've never been somebody who is afraid to stand in the line of fire. That's something I pride myself on. I think a lot of you guys know exactly how confrontational and upfront I am about everything. I will do better moving forward. And I know that I've aligned myself with certain people. I've socially supported people in the past who have exhibited problematic and dangerous behavior. And I will be better and I'm not even holding myself accountable. It's, this is something that has been on my mind for a long time over the past summer. I spent it alone, mostly in Montana. I was working out of there and then I was just working on my house here in LA and I will be traveling for the rest of the year. I head to Europe next week for the rest of the year. I've just realized what's important to me. I've realized who I want in my life, what type of people and energy I allow in my life. And I don't wanna be somebody who only stands up for things when they're not affected by the behavior of others in their life. This whole situation is so serious 
and it's really, really unfortunate that it ever had to happen. But if I can do anything moving forward, I can use my voice and I can be outspoken. I'm not afraid of criticism. I'm not afraid of being criticized. I welcome it, especially if it's constructive. And I know that I am a solid person. I, I like who I am and I don't wanna be silent about things that are important, that are hurting people especially children. So for that, I do apologize. I was told by multiple people on my team to not speak about things and to just let things go and it doesn't involve me, but you know what? Unfortunately, it does involve me because of the world that I was in and that I was a part of. I keep a very low profile now. I am normally by myself and I like that. I have my friends who are not on the internet. I have a couple friends in the space. But yeah, that's where I'm at. I actually unfollowed Colleen a few months ago, I think end of June or uh, maybe 4th of July weekend when Trisha released her video. That was really difficult to watch and it made me sad. I reached out to her. I've known her for a very long time as well and it, it was just, it was wild. It was just so wild. And yeah, that's where I'm at. I hope you guys understand and if you don't, leave a comment down below. We can talk about things. You guys know I'm super vocal and I'm not on the defense. I know that I should have spoken up sooner, but it was a lot, there was a lot out there and it wasn't directly affecting me, but also it reflected upon me and I will be better moving forward. Anyways, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. I will see you Wednesday with a brand new video and we're going to Europe, so it's gonna be a lot of fun. And the rest of the year is gonna be great. I'm out there filming a project. I'm shooting my first like big campaign and I'm so excited. I have so much to do until I leave. Anyways, thanks for letting me open up to you guys and just chat. I love you so much. Make sure to leave things better than how you found them.